I look forward to an apology. I, am I going to get an apology? How did our Lindsay Hoyle receive his apology? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. But hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, in the House of Commons yesterday, we were graced with a rhetoric-filled Sweller Braverman speech about what assessment she has made of the potential impact of the Sweller Braverman small boats, she will like to call it, on the well-being of people claiming asylum. Well, Labour MP for Battersea, Marsha de Cordova, asked our leaky sewer about safe and legal routes, and our Sweller Blabbermouth, in her infinite wisdom, she decided, I'm going to make a prize prat of myself. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This illegal migration bill is yet another example of the Tories scapegoating asylum seekers to distract from their incompetence and will not be compatible with our legal obligations under the EHRC. It will leave asylum seekers like those from Iran in limbo so they will not be deemed permanent so they will be deemed permanently inadmissible to our asylum system. We need more safe and legal routes, not after boat crossings have stopped, as we know that this bill will never achieve that. So can the Home Secretary say why she will not seek to provide safe and legal routes for everybody now? Secretary. Because she's too evil. Well, Mr Speaker, we'll always place a high priority on the well-being of asylum seekers, and that's why we're also uh, committing to uh, rolling out safe and legal routes as part of our plan. But whilst I have uh, the Honourable Lady, may I take this chance, Mr Speaker, to invite her to apologise to the nation. The Honourable Lady campaigned in 2020 to stop this government from deporting a serious foreign criminal. Thanks to her efforts, together with 70 opposition Labour MPs, they subsequently stopped this government from removing Ernesto Elliott, who then went on to murder in the UK. Mr Speaker, will... Order, order. The Home Secretary should know better. This is sub judice. Well, I... He's appealed his sentence. And I don't think I need any lectures from the front bench either. I look forward to an apology. I, am I going to get an apology? Thank you. Home Secretary, will you take the advice that I've been given? I know you don't like it, but I'm only working on the facts of the case. Home Secretary. This answer should be interesting then. <laughs> get out of that one. Then. Well, I will just still say that uh, it is outrageous what Labour MPs have done, and I encourage them to apologise. <laughs> She's so out of her depth, isn't she? Now, that was her first question as well. She really is just a vile individual, isn't she? Her rhetoric is just absolutely painful. Couldn't we have just left her in Rwanda to cackle away her heart's content? Oh, I watched her topicals and her replies for nearly an hour. It was absolutely painful, my friends. You know, truly painful. But I do this so that you don't have to. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding, but... Snowflakery was uh, hilarious from her. It, she's just an absolute massive snowflake, isn't she? But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.